Hi, welcome to Music 5, Music Fundamentals at Solano Community College. I'm Matt McLean, your instructor for the class. This is an intro course that starts off with note names, basic major and minor scales, rhythms, sight reading, key signatures, melody and triads and chords, and how music is put together. So this can be a general ed course, and it's also the first course in our music theory sequence. At the end, you should have a better understanding of how music is put together and communicated both through sound and written music notation. So in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you the two essential elements that are required for the class. The first one is the Canvas shell through our Canvas website at Solano Community College. And then the second one is the required e-textbook that you must purchase either from the bookstore or directly from the publisher. Again, this is required and I'll show you how to get that in just a minute. But first, let's go to the Canvas page for the class and I'll give you a brief tour. So first, go to the Solano webpage, solano.edu, and you can go to the Canvas link on the left to log in. Unless you've changed it, use your username and password that you use to register for the class. This will take you to your dashboard, and you'll see all the classes that you're enrolled in. Scroll down to Music 5, Music Fundamentals, and click the icon. On the home page here, you will see a welcome letter with links to the syllabus, the getting started video that you're watching here, and then some deadline reminders that will change depending on which session you're taking the class. The key deadlines are to get into Canvas here and also to purchase the required e-textbook for the class. I have some notes about when the deadlines are, so make sure that you get in early and make sure you submit your work by the deadlines. I don't accept late work. Uh, don't purchase an access code for the e-textbook from anyone else don't rent it from anyone. There's some scams out there. I'll get into how to get it from either the college bookstore or from the publisher in just a minute. So if you scroll down here, you'll see the class schedule, and I'm just going to go all the way down. You can briefly overview the entire session here. It has all of the deadlines um, listed by class, and below that you'll see modules. This is where I have my material for the class as well as links out to the quizzes and to the discussion forums and assignments. There's also a link to the syllabus here, the getting started video, and then you can see a brief overview of the material that you get into um, starting with the keyboard at, at the beginning of the class. And there are also links uh, and reminders to get into Canvas, get the textbook, and uh, the discussion forum. So all of the assignments that are due by each deadline are listed here as you scroll down. But first, let's go into a module. And module zero here is always going to be uh, the introduction. And there's a brief uh, about your professor page. Uh, so let's go in here. There's an overview of the class. And it tells you for each module what you're going to be able to do. Uh, in the first one here, you're going to be doing a discussion forum where it's an introduction and you're going to meet uh, all the other students in here. If you click the next button in the lower right hand corner, it'll take you to the next page. There is a picture of me with <laughs> less gray hair and no glasses. Hi, I'm Matt. If you move on here, uh, there's some links to student services, navigation of the course, and if you keep going forward, it'll take you all the way to the end of the module. I'm actually going to go back to the module here. Um, so you don't want to keep going forward past the end of the module um, that has a, a due date. You'll find at the end of module zero, there is a discussion forum. The instruction forums in in here. It has a written a uh, little bit longer bio about me. And there's a grading rubric. And to get started, you just hit the reply button. Uh, down at the bottom and you can post your initial post and then you have to reply to at least one other student for full credit in all of the forums moving forward in the class. And then let's go back to the home page. Uh, we also have module one. And module one is where we get into the music. You go to the overview and it has our learning objectives. If you go to the next button, you'll see that I have some links to videos. Go to the next page. I have some information about how the keyboard is laid out. And then um, at the end, if we go back to modules, at the end of this module, there is a quiz. And if you 
click on this page, you'll see that there's actually a link out to the textbook because all of the quizzes, the midterm and the final exam, are administered through the required e-textbook. So let's show you how to get in there. To do this, you're going to go to connectforeducation.com. And this is the first way that you can purchase it. This is doing it directly from the publisher. And you can save some money if you do it this way. And you can also buy an access code from the bookstore. So what we're going to do is an uh, overview of the three-step process to get it. So if you go up to student, the three steps are right here. You purchase, you register, and then you log in. If you go to purchase, It'll take you to a list of the books that they sell, and you're going to scroll down to Music Fundamentals, on Music Fundamentals. If you click on this, and then go to Student Purchase, it's just like buying a pair of socks on Amazon. You can view your cart, and then go to Checkout, and then this is where you put in your name and credit card number, and your email address. And what they will do is immediately email you an access code. So that is going to take us to step two. And step two is to register that access code that they give you. Um, you if you buy it directly from the bookstore, you're going to jump directly to step two. And the access code from the bookstore is really just a piece of cardboard and you tear off the, uh, the code cover and then you're going to type it in. So we go to register. And here you're going to have to select the school scroll way down you can see this is really the industry standard for music theory textbooks or music fundamental uh, textbooks in the country there are csus and ucs in california that use it literally uh, more than a hundred universities in the country um, due to the quality its accessibility and you select my name you select the semester Obviously, this is not the one you're going to be doing, but make sure that you get into the right semester and then also the right course because I use this for several courses. This again is Music 5. And then from there, you're going to paste in your access code, your desired login name. I recommend using the same one that you use for Canvas. Obviously, you can set any one up. Um, and then once you submit, you will be ready to do the third step, which is to go back to student and then you log in. And there's a login page here where you do the same steps where you select the school, the instructor. Um, within Canvas, I have some shortcuts, or actually every, every time you have to get into a quiz, I give you a shortcut link uh, to the actual login page, which is c4elink.org. If you go here, it looks like a, your Canvas login page, but you just type in your username and password. This will take you to a dashboard. You should only have one course in there. And here's the home page for the e-textbook. It's laid out a lot like a Canvas shell. Um, it has corresponding class numbers with the due, due dates in there. And you can see if you scroll down uh, all the readings you'll have to do by the end of the term. Uh, for each section, there is an overview at the beginning and we're gonna jump in here. And there are next buttons, just like Canvas. Um, this has your learning objectives. We start with the keyboard, how notes are named and laid out on keyboards, and then the first page of content is here, and there are a lot of cool interactive features within the textbook. So you can actually click on this keyboard, and when you click on it, you should be able to hear some sounds as well as see the note names uh, displayed with their frequencies on the keyboard. There are all sorts of fun little tools like this within the textbook. That's one of the reasons why I use it. And then let me just show you a couple of the other key functions here. Up at the top, you can actually listen to the lecture. It uh, works with screen readers as well, um, but you can actually download and listen to the lecture if you're cooking dinner too. There are um, show me examples, which have um, demonstrations of how to draw notes, how they're lined up on the keyboard, and then there's a glossary that's the keyword link. I'm not going to jump in there. I'm not using the collaborate function here. Um, we're going to be doing all of our discussions back in Canvas. There are links to videos um, under Discover Video for each lesson as well. 
And then uh, the download center, you can download things like blank um, music paper if you need to write stuff out on a staff. Um, that's where you go to get that. And then let's go back to the home page here for the text. The other key thing, in addition to the content, is the quizzes and the practice material. So um, at the beginning, we just have a quiz that's due. If you click on this page, it takes you into the quiz. Uh, you can take all of the quizzes twice, and I keep the high score. So you're not going to see the same questions again, but you'll see very similar questions here. And then there is another uh, really cool function in the textbook and that is the practice material and there are practice exercises practice worksheets these are all required even though they do say exercise or practice worksheet and the way i grade these is on an all or nothing basis so you have to attempt each of them once uh, for full credit and you can take them as many times as you want and that is a tour of the textbook that's about it let's go back over here to the canvas shell and if you have any questions, check the syllabus for my office hours. I also check my messages and email uh, once a day, Monday through Friday. Um, if you want to set up a Zoom meeting in, during my office hour, you can send me a message through uh, Canvas here. So to access your messages in Canvas, go over to your inbox and then you can click new message and uh, select me and everything else is pretty stripped down in here you can link over to the syllabus if you want to download that you can go directly into the modules those have all the due dates as well as well as the assignments these should show up in your calendar function uh, and then your grades so uh, one last note is i uh, import the grades from the c4e e textbook into canvas the gradebook in canvas is the master gradebook for the course and that's it all right uh, see you online here soon and take care